Well, happening in Tompkins County, changes are on the horizon for the Ithaca Tompkins International Airport. And WNY's Alexandra Dern spoke to the airport director about plans for the facility as they invited the community for a town hall meeting. I'm here to talk to the airport director about why the public has been invited here and how to get the community more involved with this airport. We're just wanting to get information out to the community. That's what tonight is about, of where we're at, what we've been doing, the changes that we currently have in our flights. You know, we have JFK on Delta. We have um, Newark on United. So we're making sure that people are aware of that. Airport director Roxanne Noble says she wants people to keep Ithaca at the top of mind when searching for flights whenever possible. One of the things we're stressing is you may not be able to fly out of Ithaca, but try to. Always try Ithaca first. If you can check, sometimes if you can move your flight a day, you can get a price comparable to Syracuse, Elmira, you know, and that's what we're hoping. She says it's hard not to notice myths about flights being unavailable on social media. During the town hall meeting, she wanted people to know the facts before assuming the airport doesn't have available flights. You know, if it goes closed, I've heard that where it's not closed, it may be an issue with weather or, you know, something in another place. But, you know, Ithaca has remained open. And so just getting information out there on where they should check and what they should do. Roxanne tells me she hopes to see more and more people choose this airport to host conferences and even stop by for a quick lunch in the space right behind me. Anything to bring in more foot traffic. Reporting from Ithaca, Alexandra Dern, WENY News. All right, turning to weather now. A few showers are pushing into the region tonight. Chief Meteorologist Joe Varis is here to let us know how long the rain will stick around. Joe? Yeah, Nick, those spotty showers quickly approaching from the west right now associated with a frontal boundary. Had a couple thunder showers earlier tonight uh, west of our region. Still can't rule out a rumble of thunder coming through tonight, but certainly not anticipating any kind of severe weather. These scattered showers will continue through about dawn tomorrow morning. And then beyond that, we'll be looking at a mixture of sun and clouds with some breezy conditions. So overall, again, we get these scattered showers through the area tonight. They'll be in the